So we have another Tuesday in Red Dead Online, which means a brand new update, not bringing any new DLC content. The February 26th drip feed is over, but it looks like we are getting a round two in Red Dead Online. And today we are going to be checking out this stuff in game, going a little bit private investigator here because as of 1150 in the morning, Rockstar still has not put out their newswire for Red Dead Online. They didn't have one last week, but they haven't even made any posts about today's updates either. It seems like with these Red Dead updates, since they're not bringing any new content, instead of posting a newswire like they do with GTA because it's so long, they're just posting a few images, letting us know what's been changed and been added to the game. So as I can already see off of the main menu, Spoils of War is still this featured series playlist. It looks like that hasn't changed this week. I actually just watched Pineapple's video and it's kind of crazy. It seems like this week's, you know, update brought more bugs and glitches into the game whether they're cool or not but nonetheless we're gonna check out the stuff added to the game so thank you guys so much for tuning in drop a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you guys are new check out the link down in the description if you guys want to win some free gold bars and read that online and let's jump into free roam okay so here we are in the free roam we have a few places to go let's actually first go over to the post office and let's see if we got a new weekly care package in red dead online um, of course, like Rockstar, if, unless they posted on Twitter recently, this is just me going before they've made a post, so I don't know exactly what was added. And by the looks of it, uh, wait, no, fire bottle, catalog, order, yeah, no, they didn't give us any new weekly care packages this week. Okay, so we only had that last week. Let's get on our horse, we're gonna go over to the, um, we need to go to the stables, and then we also need to go to the tailor. Because the stables, I hear, have been updated with some new sale items. And so we're just going to head over there. I'm just going to keep this, like, very short to the point just so you guys can see exactly what's around here. I don't want to dilly-dally too much. So I'm going to head directly over. Let's go into the stable. So we do have some sales on tack and services and horse provisions. Under tack and services, under saddles, you guys can actually get... Let's see. If we go to buy saddle, uh, I don't want to buy anything. Okay, so it looks like it's been slashed by 25%. Um, so now you can get the regular saddles for 25% off or the improved saddles for 25% off as well. And of course, the actual price of the saddle just depends on how much the saddle costs so you guys can see. Um, the other one, this one was a good way to show it just because, you know, $100 to $75, clearly 25%. But something like this is going to be all random numbers. Yeah, um, and it looks like these special saddles, nope. Of course, Rockstar wouldn't give us a discount on the special saddle. See, why don't they do that? I get it. Yeah, sure, they don't make money. Well, like, on these, they should do it. On the ones that you just pay with normal money. Like, I guess I could see them arguing not wanting to discount gold. But to be honest, with with the lack of people playing this game right now, they need to discount the things with gold bars to get people to come back. That's That should be part of their stuff. So, tack and services, 25% off. You have a sale this week. And then also on horse provisions. Um, so, not on food, but on tonics for your horse and stimulants and medicine and things like that it looks like you get 25 percent off as well maybe it looks like it horse brush horse revive yeah it looks like about 25 percent off so that's cool um and yeah that's about everything in the stables let's go head over to the tailor and let's see what new items were rotated into the game i don't believe anything was rotated in i think for now this is going to be the third week that there's going to be the same limited edition clothing items in the tailor now we've arrived at the tailor time to go inside and see what is new hello good hello. sir i know i look like a bum and a hobo but we're here to check out your catalog wheeler ross and company catalog clothing let's see what we got i actually so let's just go i know the concho pants have been in the game forever now so let's see if they're still yeah the concho pants are still available guys if you haven't picked them up two weeks later they're still in i'm gonna assume everything else that was added like the i think it was the owen gila hat um, the Tide Pants are still out of stock. So yeah, clothing hasn't been rotated out. I really figured Rockstar would have been doing that. This update seems so weird because we're going to get into the nitty gritty in a no second. Um, so yeah, br uh, bibbed shirt. Okay, it's one of these. Yeah, I haven't bought this one yet. So yeah, the clothing hasn't been rotated out. There's no new clothing in the game. Probably no emotes or anything. Um, but I do want to show you guys some bugs and glitches to do with the game right now. One more thing before I show you guys that actually. Let's go to the online. Rockstar hasn't given us any new, uh, I shouldn't say new content, but content that's already been released once as limited time. No new content has been added back for the second time yet. Um, that only happened last week. But there is no, oh wait, you could play the featured playlist for 1.5 times money. 
but you can't play regular showdown anymore like showdown large or race series or open target races or gun rush or anything like that for 1.5 times golden money you can only play spoils of war feature playlist for 1.5 times gold money so that's good to know but let's go outside here and i'm going to show you something funny people have been talking about this ammo glitch look at this look how much ammo i have on these guns guys i stocked up on ammo i always um order ammo off of the catalog just so it can be sent to my um either either the post office or my camp and i can collect it from either of those those two places i never go to the gunsmith to buy ammo i only go to the gunsmith to change out the look of my weapons and things like that but as you guys can see it shows all the ammo but apparently it doesn't keep it all on you i heard it's just a visual bug so for example you can only hold 200 bullets of the evans repeater on your person at any one time but now it's showing i can hold all the way up to a thousand if i had 999 bullets on hand but if i wasted 200 bullets right now i bet it would say i ran run out of ammo and i wouldn't be able to use the rest at least that's what i'm gathering from some people maybe you guys can confirm that down in the comments i'm not gonna ruin uh my gun and waste bullets and also destroy my accuracy just to test out to see 200 bullets later if that happens but right now i mean if you can hold a thousand bullets on you at once see that's something i can get behind it's definitely a decision i can get behind um i feel like rockstar they should have added a large bandolier to the game. If you don't have the large bandolier, you can only hold 200. If you did buy the large bandolier for, like, you know, like $125 or whatever, you can hold max capacity. Um, that would be sweet, but I don't know. Let's see if it's just a visual bug or not. Nonetheless, that is what's new in Red Dead Online this week. More bugs and glitches, I would say, than anything else. And also, no news about the spring update just yet. Maybe that's what Rockstar will be talking about later today. If they do, you guys can bet that i will have a video out on it you guys know i love updating you on all the news and information so thank you very much for watching drop a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you guys are new check out the link down in the description if you guys want to win some free gold bars and let me know what you guys think about this week's very very bum update all right have a good one guys adios amigos so we have an extra treasure map to open right now so i'm gonna do that just to you know get some extra money and rent it online treasure map citadel rock and it's a map leading to this treasure so we're gonna check out where citadel rock is i think it's pretty it's pretty close it's in new hanover it's one of those big rocks i think yep i was pretty much right we're actually right nearby so we're gonna go over here and collect this treasure make some money i have just over a grand in uh you know to my name right now so that's good news but let's head over there and let's collect that treasure i also kind of wish that treasure maps spawn more often like as you guys can see on screen i'm almost actually level 151 and i kind of wish they spawn more consistently i i guess rockstar doesn't want you to earn more than oh so many treasure maps per hour you know x amount of treasure maps per hour but if you're putting in the hours to grind this game and the higher you're ranking up you should be able to get more treasure maps just because of the time you put in and I think as long as Rockstar increases at least like the gang hideouts in the game, you know, if they want to limit you on how many treasure maps you get per hour, then they should just limit you. But they should have them spawn so that if you put in the time in the game, you can earn X amount of treasure maps in that amount of time to then hop off and then go do something else. Um, but having them kind of spawn seemingly at random, I'm just not a huge fan of. I actually don't know where this treasure is. This is a great spot if you guys want to loot herbs. There's so many herbs around here. I don't know. See, my yeah. controller is vibrating when I go in this direction. So I'm going to... Oh, it's up on top of this rock. Okay, it's yeah. literally up on top of Citadel Rock. Well, actually, this isn't Citadel Rock. I think that's Citadel Rock or that's Citadel Rock. But the treasure is up here. So I need to go and climb on top of here. I probably should have just gone the other way, to be honest. But here you go. Here's the treasure. I'm really excited to see how much money we can get from this. Let's just open this bad boy up. We have 34 gold bars, 9 gold nuggets, and $1,019 to the T right there. So let's see. For this treasure, we got 43 gold nuggets, 1 uh, snake oil, and $121.63. I'm pretty sure that's like the most amount of money you can get from a treasure map right there. It's about like $121.63, maybe $122 or $123. But nonetheless, that is the treasure right there. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And uh, I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. There is an animal in the grass right here. I don't know where he is. Oh, I think he's slithering away because he's a snake. Let's get him. But yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.